and then we hit the other side of the ditch, which kind of put us into like a roll. And so we rolled the car a couple times and it finally stopped. First, like right away, I went to like the ditch and that's when I saw him like laying face up in the ditch, just like unconscious. And that's when I just like went into like mode. Like, you know, so I, I just like jumped down there and I like checked him and he was just like a different person. And then the ambulance came and they took him away and then it was like till 1.30 in the morning in the ER when they finally said like he's not gonna make it. Every day like in the morning, practically, my dad would spend time just like making coffee for my mom or making breakfast for us. And just like even on his days off, getting up and spending time with us. And the little things like made the big things matter in life. So my dad's relationship with my mom, or their relationship, was like a very solid one. One that I definitely looked up to. It was like, you know, you could see that they loved each other and they loved us as kids. And it was one where you could tell that, you know, the most important thing to them in life was family. After the accident, emotionally, it was crazy. Like, you can't really put it into words, but it was just like chaos. Like, after the accident in my life, like, it was over. You know, that's how it felt. And the little things became known. It really emotionally took a toll on us. The Firehood community is a family. You know, it's like a brotherhood. They're there for each other, and whatever happens to them, happens to each other, you know? So instantly, like in the ER, the day of the accident, there were like the whole fire, like the whole crew, just even like after the funeral, like we had firefighters at our house or we had whole firefighters moving us into this house and just like, they don't go away, like they stay and they continue to be there for you. I can definitely say that was the biggest strength for me was my kids. Um, that we and our family and the time we spent together but you make sure and surround yourself that people are willing to sit there and listen to you and just be there for you because there's a lot of time that um, you go home by yourself. You could definitely tell he was like a man of God through the way he loved others because at his service there were a thousand people which was crazy you know you're like how could this be like how could he touch so many people's life but it definitely just showed through his everyday actions of just being a man of just like love and being like there for everyone and just always being happy. Like he had like the secret of life down of living life to its fullest, you know? And so people knew there was something different and that difference is God. Every day like he pushes me to become better than the last. And I'd say to keep his memory, his legacy alive, I've definitely just become a man of God. Like just going where God leads and doing God's will because I know that's what my dad would have want for my life, to follow God and to give my life to God, not go down some other path of saying, this is God's fault, you know, and take it out on him. Um, they played a lot of basketball. <laughs> they would be at the gym all the time shooting hoops. Um, he spent a lot of time with him. He enjoyed basketball. Um, Kate and Greg had a great relationship in playing basketball and just doing anything. They worked out together. Um, he enjoyed coaching him. Even though he's his son, sometimes that can be hard, but he enjoyed it very much. Um, it was a very good relationship. I would be in that gym all day long, from like straight out of school to 10 o'clock at night. I probably spent thousands of thousands of hours. My dad rebounding, me just playing. It was it's where I felt, felt at home. We'd have some convos, we'd have some fights. It was like a wrestling match when we played one-on-one. -on -one. I think part of it was he wanted me to get better, but also I forgot to do my chores. So he just took it out on me, you know? Basketball with my dad, it meant everything, you know? It's how we grew up, it's how we, it's how we bonded, it's what we talked about. But I have to say, once, once my dad died, it definitely changed a lot. You know, it, it just didn't mean the same. It was hard playing without him. And so the game changed for me, but slowly I began to find that same passion again meaning it in like a different way, you know, playing for him instead of with him. Well, family is very important. I feel that even after the accident, my kids and I have drawn even closer together. I think they've realized that family is everything. And I think they've also noticed that their dad was very involved with their life. And so we continue that.
Um, we talk about him all the time. I do things every few months for the kids um, that reflects on their dad. Um, I just remind them that we all have tragedy in our lives and this happens to be our tragedy. I'm very, you know, sorry that it happened so soon to my kids, but I've just expressed that we just choose joy each day and we choose each other and, um, and by choosing God in our lives, I think that gives us strength because I would say that's what got me through at the time of the accident was my relationship I had and the faith I had in God. So I mean, I look back now in the last three years and it's some of those points you don't remember, but what I do remember is my community, my friends, my family, a lot of the medical aid community, you guys stayed so involved with us and cared for us. So I just say surround yourself with people that care about you um, and spend time reading. I've spent a lot of time reading and just praying and. Um, that's really what's given me strength. You can't move forward without God. Like that's like just like the main thing. If you have God and family, you're pretty much good from there because your life can still be somewhat solid. Because without God, it'll be chaos. Without family, you'll have no one to go to. And so those two things in life really make the biggest impact.